It's been a while since I've made any videos, so I figured I better stop and make one real quick. Um, wanted to show you guys my baby super red iguanas that have just hatched. Um, but before I take you inside and uh, open the incubator, I wanted to uh, show you all the cages outside and get a quick look at Shelton. Shelton, what's going on, buddy? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Big guy. It's been nice and hot out here the past few days. I bet you like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Well, I'm going to get you washed off and get you in a little bath here in a second. All right. So, cages haven't changed much. Um, I've been very busy and haven't had a chance to finish out the cages all the way down. But they did good over the winter. So, I just got to try and get them completely closed up this summer if I can. None of the guys appear to be out at this time. They're probably all inside. Let me see if Bruce is out down here. Nope, Bruce is not out down here either. So let's go back this way and say hello to a couple of them real quick before we go inside and take out the super red iguana hatchlings. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of them right now. But here comes Shelton, let's see what's going on. All right, let's go over here. Got to clean out his water. He's... Oh, there's one of my young ladies right there. Basking. I think she, she is uh, Roxy and she just laid eight eggs the other day. So in that little egg box over there. She's still guarding the box like there's eggs in there, but I've taken them out. Here's Rex. This is the boy. How's it going, buddy? He's beautiful. He's got some beautiful reds and browns on him and blacks. He's just a beautiful guy. Super sweet. Super, super sweet. Uh, the other female, she's ready to lay. She might be in their box. Nope, don't see her. She might be outside somewhere. I'm going to come over here and say hello real quick. Here's Pleo. His ladies are not due to lay eggs for about a month. But he's doing really good. How's it going, buddy? He's got nice light blues right now. Most of the time they're a lot brighter. But he also has a lot of reds from his Cuban side of his blood. Since he's Cuban and Lewis I mix. Let's see, here's Blueberry. She's doing really good. She's mainly Lewis I. She's a mix, but she's a high percentage. So she's a lot bluer and has almost no red in her. But she's a pretty girl. I can see she's getting eggs in her belly. And here's uh, one of my super reds, the male. He's a little dull right now. He's shedding, but uh, the female, I think, went down in her egg box. Let's see if I can find... A soul. She's probably hiding up here. There she is. She's hiding in the corner. But she's another high percentage. We're a pretty girl. Let's see. I can see one of my Mexican black spiny tails through the cages there. Let's say hello to him real quick. What's up, Turbo? Want to say hi to everybody, huh? Yeah, that's terrible. He's a good guy. Yeah, he is. He's shedding too. Let's see. I don't see his females. Oh, there's one of his females over here. There she is. She just laid eggs about a month ago. She's still a little skinny. She's got to pick up her weight. But let's move in here to my rhinos. See Thor sitting right in front of the door. Say hello, Thor. What's going on, buddy? Huh? What's going on? Yeah, he's a good guy. He's normally a little bluish here, but he's kind of dull. I think he's getting he's getting ready to shed that area. Although when he gets in the sun, he gets a little brighter. But he's a beautiful guy. Up here is one of his beautiful little girls. This one is little girl. Because she's so big. Yeah. Don't expect any eggs from these girls until about August. 
that's why now of course you can see she's shedding and then we come over here i heard the other one over here there she is hello cleopatra how you doing mama she's shedding too Oops. there we go not doing good holding the camera today but you can see her blues that she has up here real nice blues she's shedding too but i don't like to pull it unless it's loose so it's not loose enough yet all right there you go she's a beautiful girl and we'll come through here and see there's another one of my reds now this one's not super red he's just a uh normal false red but he's still a beautiful guy doesn't get as bright as jack does but he does good and there's bruce bruce what's up buddy what you doing huh want to say hello he doesn't normally like the camera so see we'll see how he does say hi want to say hi to camera huh want to say hi to camera bruce yeah he's just sitting here basking it's like oh we got a light out so i need to oh i knocked the other one off but that one will come back on it's just super sensitive if you tap it but those uvv lights if you tap them on the top they shut off but it'll come back on once it cools down but this one i think is dead i'm gonna have to replace it he's got beautiful reds he's a little dull he's gonna shed soon too but you can see he's already started shedding but he's a beautiful guy super sweet Isn't that right bruce yeah but that's these guys so got a couple of baby spiny tail uh pectinatas uh pied pectinatas out in that cage behind the green there but they're super shy right now so i'm giving them their privacy they're really young but hopefully they'll start uh producing for me in the next uh, couple years but other than that I'm going to pause the video and go inside and show you guys the uh, baby um, super red iguanas I just hatched before I go inside I want to show you one of my tegus there's Poseidon he's hiding um, my other tegus are also hiding right now but just thought I'd let you see him he's in there in his little hut and here's a close-up of Jack. Of course, he's sticking his tongue at me and flaring because he doesn't really like me touching him, so I leave him alone. But he does really good giving me babies. These little babies I'm about to go get are some of his. All right, so I'm going to head on over here to the incubators that I have tucked away. Let's see here. These are my igloo incubators and I'm gonna grab this first one here I got some spiny toe eggs there in here I have some Cuban rock iguana eggs but I'm gonna grab these guys here just some that water off and we're gonna close that up you can see them running around and I saw these guys starting to hatch out this morning so I left them alone but there's so many of them I think the wise thing for me to do is going to be to set this whole setup in the bathtub and open this up because they're going to run out so let me pause just for a minute and move myself into the bathtub so I have a little bit of a safety net when they jump out all right so we have them in the bathtub now when I open this up several of them will probably jump out there they go all newborns so I'm gonna slowly get a hold of some of them and put them in a little bit of water to get some of their um, the dirt that they have on where the it's not really dirt but uh, pure light that they get on them from the egg box these guys are super brown right now but they will get uh, super red as they um oops. some of them have their egg yolk out so i'm gonna have to watch those guys we'll set this one in there and i'll get him out in a minute all very cute little red iguanas but that's it i'm gonna 
mute the video here so I can start getting the rest of these guys out.